Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, Dr. Doc. And uh, today I'm actually going to be reviewing a very, very, very interesting true crime documentary. Uh, I don't know how many of you are fans of true crime, but I absolutely love the genre. And uh, I watch a lot of true crime documentaries. I listen to quite a f- few uh, true crime uh, podcasts as well. But today's uh, the the documentary that I'm reviewing today uh, is again it's a documentary series. You can find it on uh, Hotstar in India. Uh, it's a HBO television series, um, and the show's name is "I'll Be Gone in the Dark." So, um, what is the show about? Uh, just to give you an overview. Uh, the television show is named after the book written by uh, Michelle McNamara. Uh, she is a true crime author. Uh, she was an American author. Uh, sadly, she passed away in the year 2016 uh, before the book could even get published. Uh, so the book actually is about a serial killer in California who went by the name uh, uh, Golden State Killer. Actually, it was the name given to him by uh, the media and the authorities because obviously they did not know his identity he was actually given a lot of other um, names uh, by the authorities over the course of his uh, career as a serial killer uh, let me just read out to you some of his other names pretty interesting um, so golden state killer was one of them uh, east area rapist that was i think one of his initial names uh, original Night Stalker, Visalia Ransacker, East Bay Rapist, Diamond Knot Killer. So these are some of the names. Uh, so basically his modus operandi, I think I use this word a lot. I don't know why. So, uh, so the way he used to carry out his killings was essentially stalk his victims for quite a few days. Uh, get to know her because most of his victims were female uh, and uh, the the males that he did end up killing were either husbands or partners of the female victims so he used to stalk the victims for a long time of quite a few days actually and uh, go to the victim's place when the victim was alone uh, rape her repeatedly um, whisper really weird stuff into the victim's ears um yeah and then eventually end up murdering the person so uh, i'm really sorry to have gone into the gory details but this was basically who um, the golden state killer was uh, the theme and the treatment of the series is something that uh, uh, really struck a chord with me because michelle is a big character in the film because uh, she has written the book obviously and uh, uh, Amy Ryan who is a very very famous actor she acted in The Wire, The Office uh, she is the narrator uh, and she narrates a lot of lines she she primarily narrates lines from Michelle's book uh, and gives the feeling that Amy is Michelle in the film because uh, as she's narrating you go through Michelle's life and uh, the Golden State Killer himself is also a big character in the film. So there are two main characters, Michelle and the Golden State Killer. And yes, it's a cat and mouse game in the sense that because Michelle, over the course of her life, you know, she becomes obsessed with him. Uh, she wants to eventually find him and she goes into uh, interviewing detectives, going to the actual victims' houses, all of that. And uh, she basically has dedicated a large part of her life into catching uh, the golden state killer unfortunately i mean uh, the documentary also talks about this what are the kind of issues she f- faced uh, and unfortunately i mean she was under a tremendous amount of stress because she also had a book deal which she uh, sort of successfully got uh, with harper collins uh, uh, i think it's harper collins if i'm not wrong because of her blog that she was maintaining it was i think called the true crime blog where she used to pen down every single detail about her investigation and her process so uh, i think publishers found her and they struck a deal and she she was supposed to write a book so that book was again taking her places meeting a lot of people so 
she was under a tremendous amount of stress and she was under a lot of medication uh, i think because of a uh, drug overdose she unfortunately passed away in her sleep uh michel mcnamara's husband is pat noswalt uh, who is a very very famous actor and a stand up comedian so he uh, is also interviewed in the film and uh, he talks about how sort of i mean he was a big support in michel's work and uh, how he eventually ended up uh, helping to get the book published uh, she was working with two other detectives and both of them uh, sort of da- did the finishing touches and uh, patten and the team eventually put together the book and ended up publishing it and doing sort of marketing rounds for the fil- uh, book as well so the documentary itself let's talk a bit about the the the, the series uh, i think it's directed by liz garbus uh, she has actually do- directed a lot of documentary films uh, in in the us and uh, hbo sort of got the rights for michelle's book in 2018 and i think production started immediately um and then uh, over the course of a year or so i think they finished the entire show and it was released uh back in actually it released in june this year a show like this uh, of this caliber from hbo even though it's a non fiction show i mean uh the way they sort of uh, keep the audience hooked uh the way liz has sort of directed the entire thing given a narrative for each episode but at the same time keeping the audience uh, at the edge of their seat basically using amy's amazing narrative skills um treating michel as someone who you genuinely feel is still alive and is still around us um her character is very very i don't know a very gripping character uh, someone who is very passionate about what she does and uh, building the story and showing the journey of the golden K- uh, state killer himself i think it uh, it's a very very um it's a very good show in that the emotions are very raw and transparent both from michel side and the victim side obviously uh, because they have gone through a lot and over the years of course uh, this became a very fame infamous case actually and uh, the documentary does a brilliant job of um keeping things intact and not letting it so not letting the narrative fade away towards the end because uh, it could have gone both ways like you know you sort of uh, let go of michel's story and just focus on the golden state killer or vice versa it could have gone either way but i think both narratives both characters were given enough sort of representation and the amalgamation of both the narratives was something to uh, applaud i felt so it was a definitely an eye opener for me and uh, this is why i sort of chose this because i felt that there would be a lot of true crime enthusiasts um, who love watching true crime documentaries so uh, definitely i'll be gone in the dark is a big recommendation from my side the only thing you might feel uh, is that it's a little slow in the pace uh, because of course you need to slowly build up uh, to certain events and you might end up feeling that it's a little slow uh, but i think that that the slow pace is what adds a lot of uh, character to the, the 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 direction as well from liz so um, i i personally liked it uh, i felt that the pace was justified and uh, yeah overall it was um, it was an amazing watch uh, to say the least and it's definitely a big recommendation from my side so thank you for watching and uh, remember to hit the subscribe button like and share my content with people who you may know to like documentaries or in general you can just share it uh, on your social media and help me so thank you once again and uh, see you in the next episode guys so this is dr doc signing off bye